Yo, what is going on you guys? It's Ninja here and today what I have for you guys is gonna be a tutorial about how to turn on the power on Zetsubo Noshima. Now in this little clips you guys are seeing right here, these are gonna be the four possible spawn spots for the bucket right when you go straight into the game. So right now I have actually three of the four buckets as far as like gameplay goes and stuff like that. And right here you guys will see me shooting at the ground. That is actually the fourth spot the bucket could be spawning. Next what you guys want to do is open up this door. This will be the first door that you will have to open to get to the power. That is just five 500 points if you're playing with a couple people and stuff like that I would honestly just recommend to strategize a little bit and try to get like try to like alternate with like opening doors with like your buddies and stuff like that just so you can open up the doors as fast as you possibly can then back there you guys saw that door was $1,000 once you open this you want to go way back here to fill up the first bucket to then kind of start turning on the power and stuff like that and then what you'll need to do is get 1,000 points as you guys see on like on my little points thing right now I have 1,000 points open up that door for 1,000 points and then you guys run way over here to then kind of put the bucket inside of this other bucket you could almost say and then you wait for that to go and that is one of the two that you have completed so then once you go down here you want to come all the way down here and there will be this next door that is actually cost 1250 that is actually pretty expensive and the thing that I can recommend to you guys is try to get the power on as soon as possible try to just strategize with your friends or just really in the beginning of the game just really try to open up all the doors because there is a lot of doors to actually open up the power with so as you guys see that is the first other 1250 door the second 1250 door is this one right here so once you get 1250 open up that door and then you only need two more doors this one on this left side and then the other one on the right side or up there so here there's gameplay right there of opening up that first one that is 1000 points also now I'll run all the way down here to fill up your second bucket once you're done filling up that second button bucket run back up and what you'll have to do is then put that bucket inside of like the other bucket you could technically say and here we have my buddy carnage machine going over here to open up this door this door is also $1000 like I said before so just go into here fill up this bucket so now you are actually done with as far as like getting water filling up water and stuff like that and once you're done with with this you want to come all the way over here and you guys this is a big tip right here sometimes the buckets you'll have to redo the first one if you didn't do it on the same rounds I believe so the recommendation is just do this all in the same round as you guys see in the top right there the two little green lights you have to make sure those two are like green before you can actually open up the door and if you guys want to open up the door all you have to do is go up to a press square you don't even have to spend any money or anything like that so once you're done opening up that door you're gonna have to open up this door which is on the way back left side that door costs $1,500 and once you're done with that that is as far as you're done with opening up doors and stuff like that and then what you have to do is go inside of the water and swim under this little cage or just water cage whatever you would we like to call it and slash off this web and once you're actually done slashing the web off that fan will start turning on and actually when this fan turns on you'll see right here it actually op or it shuts that door so then you're actually trapped inside of this room and as you guys saw my buddy carnage machine he got trapped outside of the room so what you have to do here is kill all all these zombies before it'll actually let you out and once you are out all you have to do the power will be right in front of you and then you can turn it on and that will actually be it so here you just see me kind of killing all these zombies and stuff like that tearing and killing with that dark matter vesper right there and obviously this is pretty simple if you're with one person or just by yourself or you're with two people and stuff like that this is pretty simple because like they don't honestly get too hectic down here depending on the round you do this at obviously like I recommended before in the beginning of the video I would just recommend to get that done right off the bat like open up all the doors and just get it done right away so you guys then you just run up to the top and you turn on the power and that is how you turn on the power in the new DLC zombies map. I hope you guys did all enjoy the details video and peace out.